Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Foundation. Guys, last episode was a little bit crazy. Not only did we finally got set up our kind of Lord's Manor, Manor's Lord, whatever you want to call it, our big manor house, it, um, it increased our treasury. We can now store up to 2,000 gold in our treasury, which is completely crazy. Our limit last time was 500. Now it's going all the way up to 2,000. And it's continuing to grow. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger every time we trade and stuff like that. So we are making tons of cash money moolah. It's amazing. We also begin work on our brand new church, which is a little bit over the top. But when it's done, it's going to have a huge capacity of 260 people. So everybody is going to have faith and religion in their lives. And they can stop moaning at me because everybody is moaning that they've got no religion. It's being built. Don't worry. It will take some time. Something else we kind of got set up too was the very first sheep farm um, in our region, which is pretty cool. So we'll get that set up eventually. Because uh, there's a few more things I also want to get done as well. Now, when it comes to the bread making business, we still, I, I know I keep going on about this, we still need to build more uh, windmills because we are not producing enough flour to keep the production lines up and running. We have hundreds of pieces of wheat in stock right now. So having a few extra windmills to produce that flour will be very, very, very beneficial for us. So because we got a little bit extra money, we're going to set those up. Oh. Hold on, I keep pressing the wrong button. i got to remember which button it is to rotate. That's the pause button. There we go. I always forget. So we have one there, one there, and one there. So four brand new windmills, which can hopefully give us enough produce in terms of flour from the wheat to keep a constant supply going. It's, it's great. It's amazing. Because our, our bakeries here, even though they do produce a lot of food yeah come on we could always do with some more right we could always do with some more which means we've got to build a bunch of warehouses too now this warehouse over here stores all the wheat we need well we don't really need another warehouse at the moment storing more flour but maybe some for bread <clears throat> so that is the route we kind of need to go down so how many people do i have in the village who are unemployed quite a few so we do have quite a few people who we can give jobs to so the where is it where is it where is it where is it the warehouse there we go so we want to set the way this warehouse up here which we're going to eat a little bit into um the wheat farm there which not much we could do about that unfortunately and that's when it's built we'll kind of make that priority get that set up to where it then starts storing the bread and we'll also take a look at in just a moment the kind of stone production levels so anyway, let's um, let's get a little fast forward session on the go. Let's see how much dents we can put in to building this church and getting it up and running. Because it is kind of crazy. We got a lot to go, a, lot, a long way to go, really. We needed literally over 220, 230 more planks of wood, which is crazy. We've only got 50 odd in stock. Um, we need 80, uh, 84 more tools. And uh, only 30 more stone, so we're slowly getting there. We are slowly getting there. It's going to take a while, but it'll be beautiful. Uh, they're getting set up the warehouse anyway. This brand new one should be up and running. When it comes to the kind of um, zones here that we've got set up in terms of extraction, you can kind of see where it's falling through right now. So let me push this, this wheat farm field a little bit further back. Down here and round and up. So you can kind of see where we get in. Once um, once they've completely extracted all the, all the trees here, we'll then reset up the extraction zone in the brand new reforestation area. We'll get that up and running, which is going to be pretty cool. So how far are we off this end? We're just waiting for the stone to arrive. We have 10 stone available. <laughs> the church has taken all the stone. GG. Everybody. Oh, I think we're up and running right now. No, we're still waiting for another five to come in. But as all this happens, though, our gold will continue to increase. So let's take a look, then, if I hired um, or assigned a shepherd. Uh, we need to spawn a sheep as well. So spawn a sheep. Oh, we get one sheep. Oh, we... Whoa, 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 whoa. We freely roams around. I don't think I'm happy about that. 
Can we not build like a, a fence? Um, buildings, decoration. I can build a fence. Can I build it in to the point where, you know, the sheep aren't doing a runner? It's also a bit annoying how I've got to do it like this. Right, I'm keeping it all at the moment, boy. I'm keeping it all. Right. Let me see how well this fence will be. Or how it will look. If I brought it all the way up. I don't know if it keeps the sheep in. That's another thing as well. I don't think it keeps the sheep in. But it could look very, very good. I need more planks. We're spending all our plank, <laughs> all our planks right now. Um, right, bring that out, and then just slowly start to bring it down. So we need more plank production. We've got a sheep which is looking huge right now. It's going to need shearing very, very soon. I'm hoping we can keep them all inside. We'll kind of see what happens about that. We've got more villagers now joining. So we'll get a... Oh, is he going to grab the sheep? Yep, that person's gone to shear the sheep. Right, we'll wait. We'll do more of this fence work when we've got more planks set up and, run, up and running. Uh, this warehouse, which is now available. We'll choose the slot for the... We've got a villager working in there anyway. Choose the slots for the bread so we can store all the bread in there. Good stuff. We now have a warehouse dedicated for it. Beautiful. How far off are we at the church? Still... 140 more planks of wood to go. We're only having such a huge issue with this because of how big I decided to build the church. You won't have this in the long run, but we'll let it continue anyway. But that's going to be probably quite a cool little um, thing we get set up here. And then we can like eventually build another one over here, over here as well. We've got enough to buy more area and we could buy more land over there, but I want to get the kind of... um the sheep farming thing set up because the sheep farming produces wool which turns the wool into cloth and then the cloth gets turned into clothing which would be perfect for us so where is the territory if i bought this territory here so buy that the extraction now will also continue to over here keep that going and that will enable us um, to build more of these sheep farms. We also ran out of spacing for housing too. Can we get some down, going down here? So residential. Like push it a bit further. Hopefully. We do need to buy more land in various spots. But we eventually all get all that set up anyway. So I think when I, sp when I eventually get this set up. Where we've got the fences up and running. And then we spawn sheep inside the fences. I think we should be okay at that point. <laughs> I don't know. But let's get another uh, sheep farm underway. I'm trying to spin it around. So I place that kind of... Well, I could place this one here. It's 50 gold. Oh, we've gone into debt. Okay, right, okay. We'll hold out for a little while then. We've gone into a little bit of debt right now. I did spend 500 smackaroonies on expanding. We got so much bread in stock right now. We can't sell it quick enough, can we? <laughs> Which is hilarious. So lacking housing and water and the other ones just all the religion stuff. So how far are we away right now? Every time I check, we are bringing this down slightly so we're getting somewhere. So let's fast forward again. Okay, the production of the first windmill is getting set up. Not bad. It's going in the right direction. So we're backing up into profit right now. So we'll get some more sheep farms down. So we get this one here. And then I'll get this one here. And then we'll build fences all around them to hopefully try and keep the sheep in. And then we'll get a warehouse so we can store the wool inside of it. So warehouse. And we'll set the warehouse up. Because there's like a little crossroad just here. So let's set it up quite near to it. Because we can have the tailor production set up over there. And eventually do more housing on this side. So we can create another residential zone. And I think that's what we kind of need it to be. So. Right. Okay. We'll have this one actually. 
Hmm, and where do I want the... So I could do like a market here and then the house and going around it. So if I set up a warehouse there, I'll set up three warehouses. And then we can use them for future stuff. It's just as we've got the space to throw it in right now, it's beneficial for us. I don't think the sheep really care about the fences, but getting them in <clears throat> would be a pretty cool idea. But again, I can't do many more fences just yet until the, the freaking church has stopped using all my planks. There's a hundred more to go. Is what we're looking at right now. Okay, we've depleted our complete, our, you know, our total wood storage. We've got like two planks in stock in there, which is hilarious. But we're definitely getting somewhere. We're slowly, you know, getting there, guys. That's, that's literally all I can say right now. We're slowly getting there. There's a nice space over here for housing. Oh, then again, I'm... Yeah, but no, no, that's why... <laughs> that's why there's no house in there. I'm using it for wheat production. I kind of forgot about that. I did kind of forget about that. Right. Once they've actually also completely built the church, they can then focus all their efforts elsewhere. I think the church like needed 500 planks in total as well. I mean, that's why it's taken so long. That is why it has taken so long. All right, do we have any wool being stored in here right now? Yeah, we got 18 pieces of wool. It's going to look really good with the fences too. It's going to really add a little extra jazz on it. So because we've got over here set up stone storage and stuff like that and polished blocks, we'll eventually have our very own dedicated area for the stone production, which we haven't got to that point just yet. All of our efforts in creating this perfect planks of wood. We do have two carpenter areas, don't we? Yeah, it's these two buildings. Sawmills. Yeah. They are doing a fantastic job. But we do need more wood. So I'm thinking because of how far away I have placed these current extraction zones. What I've just for now, I just kind of zone this area, which is a little bit closer to gain the wood. And then we'll see what happens. We'll just see what happens with that. It'll be quite interesting to find out anyway. Uh, we do need more housing. It will get built shortly. Again, <laughs> all the builders are occupied at the moment. It's just now literally planks of wood is all we need. Could I trade in planks of wood? Does anybody sell planks of wood? Well, we have someone who buys the planks of wood, but nobody sells it there. I could sell and set this up. And then we can sell... Well, no, no, I, sorry, I, I, I tell, no, yeah, we, they sell that. We could buy off them coal, iron, and glass, and sell to them herbs, common clothes, and wool, which we can actually sell some of this stuff if we get this. So if I unlock that trade, and then say, sell all the above value over, and let's go 100 on this. So eventually when we get 100 wool, we can sell that, which would be pretty cool. And the same for clothing too. Over 100. Because we're going to have to create a, a nice little industry. Like how we've done the bread and stuff like that. So we'll kind of get that planned and set up now. And eventually when we start producing it, we can sell it. Should be pretty amazing. Right, we're now literally 60 planks away. We're now 60 planks away. I repeat, 60 planks away. <laughs> this is funny, isn't it? And that sheep is still roaming free, like a crazed fool right now. Right, how many planks did these take, by the way? Did they take quite a few? They only take 10, so they're not as many as the church. I don't think anything will be as big as the church in the future. But we're getting somewhere. They're chopping down trees in this area, meaning there's more wood close by. Beautiful. Which we can now produce the planks of wood so much quicker. Beautiful. So there's six more planks on the way to the church. Should we prioritize the church now? Right, let's prioritize the church so we can get that done because that is really hurting us. Right, we have an envelope from a dude. Um, okay, war is coming. We are prepared. And well, actually, we're not that prepared. Um, okay, shall we um, um, send our troops to aid? I'll deploy my troops right now. Right, you have so uh, you have a new quest. Send five. Okay, assign our five warriors. 
Will they come back from battle? I don't know. I don't know. We will send them. Will they be leaving the city very shortly? Soldiers are regrouping. So I take it they're now going to get ready for battle. Before they skedaddle and get out of here. These are the only two ways to go out. So we should see them very soon. Let's just put that up there. There they go. Off they go to fight a battle that doesn't concern us. It sounds like real life, doesn't it? It really does sound like real life. So that'll be interesting. That'll be very interesting to see how it goes. Okay. Oh, we got some houses now being built. But every, every, yeah, obviously some people still lack housing. We could afford to buy a new territory. Now, if I bought this, it will continue the housing to run along here. But at the same time, I want other housing over here as well. So do I buy this? I'm going to buy this area. Because it contains some delicious fruits and some... I think it, it's either coal or iron. I can't actually remember what it was. Part of me wants to say iron, but other part of me wants to say coal. <laughs> so it, it's a tough one. Um, how far are we away now then? Oh, damn. 18 more planks and we're almost there. Right, we got this mill set up so we can assign two workers. Start producing that delicious flour. These other um, windmills are being built too. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, boys. Windmill complete. Oh, we did another one. Nice. Get two workers thrown in there then. The production is stepping up to another level. Another level. Right, okay, so we've got 16 planks now in storage. Um, they should be bringing them to the church very soon. The plank levels are now arising. So what I'm going to do then? Now I'm keeping it all. I don't want to help the king just yet. I've already sent him my troops. What more does he want? Right, extraction. Get rid of you. Pretty much extract all this wood. Um, extract some of this too. And then get rid of this extraction zone here. There we go. So we can then start flattening this area and I can start building upon it and get more houses down. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing over here now? Literally two more planks, which uh, I believe they're on their way. Which I think this is them here. Yes. So they've got all the ingredients to make this delicious cake and it's done. We still, we can't apply a priest just yet. <coughs> <coughs> Not sure how, but now everybody has faith. It can store 260 people. So everyone should be happy right now. As everyone goes to church, that should satisfy their religious needs. We built the other windmill, so we can apply two villages to work in there. So we should start to see our stocks rise, hopefully. Villager list, how many unemployed? Still quite a few. We need to then build up new housing, so we'll get that set up shortly. Um, now, all of our other buildings are now going to be, get, well, get focused on. Your soldiers are back from the mission. Okay, which way are they coming from? They're over here. How many is there? One, two. One, two, three, four. Is it four or five? Did they all come back? Yeah, oh, I think they've all came back. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out if that's all of them. I'm not 100%. So, we'll, we'll see with that one. We'll see if it's all of them. It'll be a shame if it's not. We lost some peeps. But they fought a good fight. They can tell us about all their war stories. Where do they go anyway? Do they go back to the thingy or do they just come down here and chill? I don't know how it works. Are they going to tell us war stories? Oh, pause it. Quest complete. Send five soldiers. It's gained us an extra 1,000 gold. 20 of whatever that is. 10 extra battle point things and one free territory. Oh, that's pretty good. I didn't know that was like that. Okay. Right, 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 right. One extra territory. So what, what do I buy? I could buy this piece of land over here. I could seem to go this way. Maybe buy this one up here. Or this one and build another wheat farm. Now, nah, that's going too far with the wheat farms. I feel like I want to buy this area here. Or this area and expand some more housing going around we'll buy that because we can start to then bridge over it's a free piece of land so that's really all i care about uh, when it comes to extraction extract that 
Residential, drop it down. To oh, that'll be some nice housing on the shoreline there. That's if they choose to build there anyway. Right. Keep it going. Oh, okay. The auto I see started to build the houses. Houses get all set up. Pretty cool. Right, we've now got another sheep farm set up. We'll assign our villager there. Right, so we've kind of got a big bulk of um, planks being built or created. Then we start to build all the fences going around. Which would be pretty cool too. How many does that now have in storage? 45. We're going to set up our thingy anyway. In just a moment. Our warehouse to start storing them. More houses up and running. Then we get to build a bridge over there soon. That will be so cool. Right. Okay, where are we at then with this? Okay, we've got this warehouse now set up. Which will assign this all to store the wool. What's that? That's flour. Wool. There we go. And wool. And assign a villager to work in there. Perfect. Can we also get this set up as well? We're getting the wood coming in. Which is cool to see. Look at that. Now finally we're starting to build a, a backlog of flour. Which is good to see as well. And we're starting to use the, the, the wheat. Kind of, yeah. Right, I think we made some progress with that. I think we have made some slight progress with that. That's pretty good. But I'm also thinking we need to do another market. So we've got one here, which centralizes to that. We've got one here, which centralizes to that. I feel like we need to do one here, and then maybe one over here in the future. So we'll get that set up soon. Right, I got all that stuff there. Begin to construct it. Good, good, good. Now this one will be set up for... Where is it? Cloth. So we'll store all our cloth into here. You can see by the industry is now kind of going with this. Assign a worker to get ready for it. So this is our sheep farm getting set up. Um, okay, building, decoration, fences. Where was that fence, by the way? It's just here, isn't it? So following the path. Not bad. The church bells are a ring ding dinging. Right, 21 planks. And it's one plank of fence, basically. I like if they give me longer fences all the time. That would be kind of cool. Ooh, but I know they're not gonna. That's a long fence, but I can't rotate it. <laughs> Alright, keep the momentum going. Alright, so that creates a little cut in there, creates a little cut in there. Well, of course, we got to designate spaces for these sheep farms. So let's turn around ourselves then, so we can see. Oh, we ran out of planks. Just when the getting was going good. Okay, we've got three more available now. We need one more plank, please. Just one more plank, guys. I'm, I'm almost done with the fencing. I'm literally almost done with the fencing. Can we get w w one more plank? No? Are you guys even working up here? I have a feeling they're not even working up here. Like, I just want a couple more planks. Do you have any wooden stock? Oh, we don't even have any wooden stock. So maybe that's what we actually wait. We're waiting for that, aren't we? For them to... <laughs> We're actually waiting to get the wood in stock to produce the planks. Well, we got some wood in stock right now, so we should be making those plant planks very, very soon. Right, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. All right, then planks, the, the wood. There we go. Boom. Boom. Oh, I need one more. That's not fair. 
I need one more. Right, okay, we'll leave it for now. Oh, oh, we just had it then! Right, fence. There we go. Right, that's 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 pretty cool, this is. I like this little area. Right, I've just realised I'm, I'm in fast-forward speed all, all the time at the moment. Right, spawn two sheep there. Spawn two sheep there. This one already had a sheep, so spawn one more. They're walking straight out. They don't even care. They don't even care. So maybe we needed, like, some bigger space for these sheep. They're going up and round to the back. So maybe I should have made this a little, this pasture a little bit bigger going up and round. But then again, I'm going to need so much wood to do that. So, yeah. Whatevs. But when we got a little bit more planks, we'll expand it back a little bit more. Right, how are they doing with the uh, building of the houses? Still lacking space for housing. Um... The peeps should be up here demolishing all those trees. I don't think we kind of got anything underway in terms of building right now. There is some housing over here. I could buy this piece of land too. So territory, just buy that for now. And then zoning for residential. Kind of just get it up and running. Because that can still be served by that marketplace. Just for now until we've cleared this area up here. That is pretty much what we're going for, just trying to get enough housing. So that's all they're really lacking at the moment, is housing, which is pretty good to see. So we're going to eventually need to get our new, uh, our kind of brand new type of industry set up in just a moment, which is going to be um, the thing that turns the wall into cloth, which is the weaver's hut. And that costs us 200 gold. And where's the entry point? The entry point is just there. So if we kind of have this starting over here, there, and it gives it enough room for the pasture to be moved back a little bit more. So I do one there. I'm going to place down two if I can afford it. Well, we definitely can't afford it just yet. So that one is going pretty much there. This next one we kind of want here. There we go. So we see how things go once that's up and running too. Our little weaver something we're producing cloth. And then we can then get on to making clothing. So with the kingdom stuff then, I can actually unlock wooden walls. Large stone walls. Uh, nothing yet we can unlock there. And we can unlock small stone walls over here too. So there's quite a few things that we can go to unlock eventually very, very soon. <clears throat> Which is good to see. How's the house? And the housing is going to be delicious. What's um, our toggle resource panel? No, what's the thing? Here we go. Window warning. Can't put um, forest zone. Oh, we can't grow any more trees because we've, <laughs> we've fully expanded all that there. But once I chop all these trees down anyway, and we got the, the wood for it, and then we can go back to deforestating all of that monstrosity. It's good. It's definitely good stuff. We're, 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 we're kind of... We're getting there, guys. We're slowly getting there. It's all about those planks of wood, though. Now, do you reckon that's going to be an issue in the long run? Maybe I do build another carpenter's hut. It's a sawmill, not a carpenter's hut, anyway. Right, I place this one here. So the trees can stay around it. And let's um, prioritize that as well. Get those planks built. I suppose the main issue for it, for the planks being built, is obviously we need the wood. And it's such a long way for them to chop the wood and walk back at the moment. But I suppose, I mean, I'm only deforesting it because obviously, or extracting it there. Keeping it all, mate. Um, because obviously I, I want the resources, but then again, when they start building buildings, they'll chop it down anyway. So maybe I can actually have the ability to get rid of it just now. I can ex make this circle bigger too, but I just want to make sure I'm fine-tuning it all. Okay, so. Deforest all of this, please. We should get the wood a whole lot quicker. At that point, let me start producing the planks. I'll extend the fences. Right, how are we going over here? We'll just need the wood. We'll just need 20 pieces of wood. And we can produce even more planks than before. Nice. Right, how do I delete these fences, by the way? 
Do I have to go into like build a fence? How do I get rid of a fence? Ah. Okay, it's as simple as that. Right, it doesn't I don't get the wood back, which is a shame. I was quite hoping we got the wood back. But it, it, it's a no. That's okay. So I'm hoping with the bigger pens then, if you if you would call them that. For the sheep. And I'm thinking, do I get rid of it to there? Do I keep these central ones or just have it all as one big pen with the three buildings in? It could be the better option. Yeah, I wasted so many planks of wood to try and get this area set up. Alright, I'll get rid of you as well. Because you are kind of annoying being like that. We've got 21 planks, and we'll wait for these buildings to finish before we apply more. Okay, so assign two weavers there that can turn that wool into cloth. We got to the point now where there's not even names for these people. It's just male. <laughs> wow, okay. Assign two there. We're also going to need to set up our market and a well up this area too, because we've got nothing that's providing anything for these areas. So did we get that up and running, by the way? Almost. We're ready to assign the, the workers to it shortly. Just waiting for someone to hit it with a hammer a few more times. There we go. Assign three carpenters there. Produce more planks. Perfect. Uh, workers, we still got quite a few still unemployed, which is good. Well, yeah, kind of good-ish to see. Right, we'll pause it now, and we're going to build another marketplace. So market here. So we'll have set up then um, our food stalls. So we go one there, one there. Oop, there we go. One there. So good stall sign, good uh, food stall sign. We don't need any of those. And that's pretty much what we got to do. So we can start the construction of that. We'll also build a well. Just here. And then when we eventually get the house in up here, and even the workers over here can get food and water rather than walking all the way down here for their closest one, which is good. We're now starting to get a lot of planks being created, so we can use those to build that fence finally. So I like these fences. We probably, I mean, the game will probably give us some new designs like in the future. But for now, I like this is the perfect fence for the sheep farm. Right, how far should I take this? Should I start to turn it at this point? Let's kind of get some more over on this side first. Just continue to run this up. Keep it going. And I'm hoping that is big enough now, all the way to the end. We'll take a glance in just a moment how off this is looking. Right. No, that's that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. It makes me want to get rid of these, but I can't oh they, they still walk out. <laughs> the sheep still walk out. Let's spawn two more. Spawn two more. Spawn two more. So I think each one now has six sheep. That would be going to be roaming around like a menace. It's these. It's this one here that's roaming around like a menace. Do we not have a shepherd assigned to those? 
Right, let me remove all those and then destroy that one. Right, we'll just go with the two. Because it might be the better option for us. If, if we need more, we'll build more in the future. But we'll just stick with two for now. There we go. And hopefully that keeps all the sheep in. And they don't start doing runners. I'll get rid of this fence. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, I don't have to do a fence there as well. I've never fine-tuned something so much in my freaking life. Right, there we go. I'm happy with that. No more now. That is it. No more. Okay. Right, they both have shepherds, right? Yes. They're both producing wool. Yes. The wool is being transferred by both of these buildings here into cloth. Yes, because it's all being placed in stock. Yes. And then the very last one there is the clothing. It will then get produced into clothing eventually. So we've got room there for a little side path going down. If we add one in. Uh, any issues right now? Four people lacking housing. Yep, understandable. Let's get this market set up. So berries, bread, fish. Assign a worker in each one. And then that is when we've got that area set up. We can now provide residential housing for all of pretty much this area. So we'll kind of go down to there, just by the side of the keep. Whoever moves next door to it will be the safest area ever. So that's good. <clears throat> Hopefully get some pretty cool housing placed in up there. And we're ultimately rocking and a rolling. So do I get a few more extra sheep from here? Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. It says, come on, don't abuse. We're having more sheep, mate. More sheep. Don't even go out there, sheep. Oh, there we go. I think we've contained them perfectly right now with just two buildings. That is actually pretty dope. Oh, this is so good. This is definitely really, really good. Right. So, what is next on our agenda then? So, I think next episode then, now we got our sheep farm set up. <clears throat> now we got the church built. We've got the kind of um, the bread in the, Let's just call it the bakery industry. Is now functional. It's produ always producing wheat, always producing flour, always producing bread, never running out. Perfect. And we want to create a kind of same system over here with the clothing. Always producing wool, always producing cloth, then eventually always producing clothing. And then we can sell that clothing in the market and gain even more cash money moolah. How cool is that? So when it comes to the wood production over here, we're always never going to have enough wood until we've completely got enough planks. So that's an industry that will continually tick over. We don't really have a fishing industry because this literally goes to the dock, get the fish, and then take it to the market. I think we need more ducks to kind of then start backing up the amount of fish that we have. Maybe. But as time progresses, remember, you got to remember this. As time progresses, right, when we go to our trade, we're now trading resources via selling wool and eventually clothing. So it's just wool at the moment when we have over 100 in stock. Now our resources panel, we have 70. So when we go over 100, we're going to be selling that wool for a profit, boys. Even more money in our pockets. And this could be just down to literally making sure that we have enough sheep. The more sheep we have, the more they can share them, the more we can produce. Man, this is going to be a pretty cool industry. So yeah, next episode then, we should hopefully start to see more houses being expanded and built up and around here. We'll get in our, I believe it's called the Taylor's workshop yep yeah. uh start producing clothing and then selling it and then once we got that industry set up we'll also take a look at ne next episode playing around with this iron too 
And once you've got kind of some of all these basic industries set up there, we'll then take a look at all the Splendor stuff and then start to make some progress on that. We got a long way to go. I know the houses are still looking basic, and I do know that they do upgrade into brick buildings, uh, like how our bakery looks. So we've got that to look forward to as well. So we just got to designate these smaller areas to these smaller industries. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good.